to another Hoyt bow build edition. This is a special one. We are with Jeremiah from Wild Arrow. If you haven't already seen any of our bow build videos before, uh, make sure you go check them out. We will link them in the description. But over the years, we have done a ton of Hoyt bow builds with the guys at Wild Arrow. So you should be very familiar with it. This one is going to be a little bit different. Today is the launch of a brand new Hoyt bow, which we have right here. Jeremiah, you want to do the honors? No, I'd love to. I'm stoked for this thing. What, so. what, tell the people what it is. What is the name of the bow? What? How does it fit into the Hoyt line? Man, so this is the new Torex, and uh, we are super stoked for this bow. So, you know, for a lot of our customers that, that want to, to buy and shoot a Hoyt product, but maybe their price range just doesn't allow, uh, this new bow from Hoyt is going to fit that niche absolutely perfect. And... You know, we tell a lot of our customers that, you know, we work for hard for our money down here like a lot of those guys do. If you want one of the best bang for your buck time of bows, this Torx I think is gonna be that perfect fit, so. Hoyt's always had a midline bow like this and they've changed it throughout the years, but the bow that's replacing, uh, that the Torx replaced was the Power Max. And the Power Max price performance was tough to beat. I mean, it just shot well, it's built good. It's, and it's something that a guy is gonna buy, spend his hard-earned money on, it's gonna last. You know, this Torx looks, you know, just the initial reaction I have, just looking at it, how well it's built, some of the changes they've made over the Power Max. Uh, man, this bow is going to be a shooter. So. so we just did the unboxing the first time any of us have ever seen this product. Uh, we just got the spec sheet emailed to us. It is literally live today on Hoyt.com. We'll leave a link so you can go check out more details about the specifics of the bow. Instead of doing a total bow build and like tuning it in and shooting it, we're really going to talk about the features, the benefits, why you might consider this in the lineup, and then uh, when it's going to be available, how you can get your hands on it. So to me, the biggest thing is the wider limbs up here. So anytime a manufacturer runs wider limb, we get a lot more torsional stability. And the reason that's so important is cam lean. So a lot of guys will get a bow, they get severe cam lean. And if you get a bow that's tearing in a three to a nine o'clock position, it's really difficult to tune that out of. So a uh, wider limb stance is, is always critical. And with these wider limbs, I can definitely see that. And then just a good slim looking riser design. It's pretty lightweight in your hand, which that's the advantage with this type of riser material. It's lightweight, dampens well. So yeah, just my initial reaction looking at this, uh, I think this is bow's gonna crush it for these guys, so. All right, first things first. How much is the new Torx gonna be? We're gonna get right into that. Jeremiah, let's talk about first, bare bow only. What is the MSRP price on this? So for the Torx bow only, you're looking at $599, which was the same base price as what the Power Max retailed for. Okay. So nice thing is new bow doesn't go up in price at all. That's always kind of a nice feature there. So yeah, $599 bow only. And then from there, it kind of gives a guy the option to either do one or two things. Some of our customers like to custom build these bows out where they want to pick their own rest, sight, quiver, that kind of stuff. Or they do offer this in a factory package. And the factory package is $699. So the nice thing about that is it comes with good quality accessories, the rest, sight stabilizer, all those accessories are good quality. And it actually came down $50 in price versus the Power Max package. That used to be $749. So uh, anytime a manufacturer can come out with a newer model bow, upgrade some features and bring the price down, that's a win all around, we feel like. So. All right, so the technical features and benefits. We know a lot of people are really particular about this. Jeremiah, roll us through what is so special about the Torx. Yeah, so, uh, you know, as far as the, the technical specs of the bow, a lot of guys ask that. And this bow here is gonna be 30 and three quarters inch axle axle, uh, which is pretty much a new standard for axle axle bows. But one of the nice things is these bigger cams uh, actually creates a better string angle. So even though it's a little bit smaller, more compact, uh, I don't think it's gonna be an issue with that. So uh, 30 and three quarter axle axle. It's going to have a seven inch brace, uh, 3.8 pounds. It is lightweight. And then it's got an uh, ATA speed rating at uh, 327. So that's still pretty dang quick for a seven inch brace height bow. So absolutely. Yeah. So with this bow, you're going to offer uh, a 30 to 40, 40 to 50, a 50 to 60 and a 60 to 70 pound limb option. And with that, so let's say if we, this is a 70 pounder, yeah. we should be able to get 10 pounds of adjustment by just lowering the limb bolts top and bottom. Uh, so yeah, it gives you a good, gives customers a good wider range to kind of find a bow that's going to fit them. Uh, so offering these, this bow in a wider range of not only draw length, yeah. which this particular cam, and uh, we should touch on that, goes from 26 to 30 inches and it's half inch increment adjustable, but it's built into the cam. So you don't have to buy additional mods or any parts. It's built right in. It's a rotating mod system. So 
26 to 30, that's gonna fit a wide range of shooters draw links. And then with all the poundage options, man, you can just find a bow that's just gonna fit perfect for you. Tell me the type of archer that would be interested in making that purchase. Definitely what we consider a first time bow buyer. You know, guys come in and a lot of their budgets are right around that five to $600 price range, which is right where the Torx is gonna be. Uh, but uh, you know, this is gonna fit that first time bow buyer, a guy that, that wants to come to a good quality pro shop and get set up the right way the first time. Uh, man, if you anybody that checks out a Hoyt dealer that gets these in stock, they're gonna find a good quality bow, but they're gonna get set up the right way. And typically with something like the Torx, as well as the Power Max we offered in the past, we feel very confident selling that bow to our customers. The reason being is when I send a bow like this out the door, I know it's not gonna come back in with problems. So that makes my job a lot easier, but our customers are a lot happier because they know they came in and bought a good quality product, but still worked with their price range and their budget. All right, so next we are going to cover what colors will this come available in? Jeremiah is gonna run us through some of the different options that are gonna be standard at a lot of your bow shops that will be carrying the new Torx. Yeah, so as far as the camera options that are gonna be available on this bow, uh, Blackout, as you see here, they are gonna offer it in a real tree uh, camo riser with the black limbs. And then the Michael Waddell Bone Collector Edition, which is typically gonna come with the flow green and black strings and cables. And then the Keep Hammering Cameron Haynes edition, which typically are gonna be offered with the red and black string cable. So those are gonna be the options available on the Torx. The powder coats such as the Storm Gray or any of the higher end patterns will not be available on this particular model. So a um, little bit limited there, but still nonetheless, great looking bow. and still gives you some good options to kind of customize for personal preference. So that is going to wrap up the features and the benefits of the Torx. It's literally everything you need in a bow, nothing you don't, right? Yeah. Dude, this bow, it's gonna be awesome. So, so it is available now. You can check it out on Hoyt.com or more importantly, do your local bow shop a favor. With everything that's been going on, make sure you go visit these shops that are opening back up. Go buy yourself a bow or the bow with the package. It'll help uh, not only your community, but your local bow shop. And uh, you get to shoot a brand new bow coming up for this fall. Okay, now we're gonna jump into the Torx XT. Don't currently have an actual bow model with us, but we're gonna talk about the options available for the XT. So Jay, what can we expect to see in the XT model? So typically XT, you're gonna see everything get upgraded on the bow, okay? So it's probably gonna start with the limb pockets are gonna be upgraded. Uh, it's gonna have their higher quality limb, which is a five layer limb limb. Upgraded cam system, we're gonna pick up some speed. Uh, instead of uh, 327 here, the XT is gonna actually jump up to 336. So good speed increase. Um, it is gonna have a little bit shorter uh, brace height. So this bow is at seven, the XT is gonna go down to a six inch brace. And real quick to talk through it again, what's the MSRP gonna be for the XT? So the XT is gonna uh, MSRP at 699 versus 599. So it's a $100 upgrade, but you're also gonna upgrade a lot of features there. So another thing I forgot to mention is the roller guard system. So with this bow here, you got the cable slide, which is on the cable guard. The XT is gonna offer an inline roller system on rollers. So not only does that actually create a smoother draw, but because the cables now get served, your cables last longer there, so. Okay, so that's kind of the basic info about the XT. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about color options. What kind of options can they expect for the XT model? So the XT, you're gonna get a, uh, a little bit of an upgraded option. You're gonna actually be able to get in the storm gray color instead of just the blackout, which that's been really popular for Hoyt. You're still gonna get the, the Michael Waddell Bone Collector series, the Cameron Haynes series. And then they're gonna offer a half and half option, which is typically like you can get it in a uh, camo riser with a black limb or a uh, cam a black riser camo limbed option. So they're calling it the half out. The half out, yeah. yeah. So for guys that like to kind of get that two-tone look, but maybe still like to stick with the powder coat or base colors here, but like change the limb color, you're gonna be able to have that option on the XT. A little bit different than the standard Torx. Torx XT is gonna jump down to a 30 inch axe to axle, so it's a little bit shorter. Um, it is gonna decrease brace height from six, from seven down to six. Okay. Um, and then it actually offers a extra half inch in draw length range. So with the standard Torx, you're gonna go from 26 to 30. The Torx XT, you're gonna go from 25 and a half to 30. So you get an extra half inch there. And then the other thing with the poundage is uh, Hoyt offers a 65 pound custom bow on the Torx XT. So for a guy that goes, hey, uh, you know, I don't wanna shoot 70, it's a little much but 60 is just too low, they're gonna offer a 65 pounder. So that bow from will max out around 65, but you'll be able to back it down about 55 pounds. Okay, so the Torx and the Torx XT, you've learned a little bit more about that. With the XT, it's gonna come as a standard bow. However, 
it's bow only from the factory, but there's gonna be package options. So for guys that like this kit here that you can get on the Torx, you can order this kit uh, from the Hoyt factory. You're gonna pay a little bit more for it, but it's gonna come with, with basically exact same accessories, stabilizer, wristling, good fall away rest, five pin sight, quiver, and a peep sight. So for guys that, hey, you know what, I like this package, I wanna put on the XT, that is something you can order separately directly from Hoyt. But because the XT is a little bit nicer, higher end model, uh, most shops, including us, we're probably gonna custom build our own package for those XT bows. All right guys, so you have now seen the new Torx and the Torx XT, brand new to Hoyt, available today. If you're looking at buying an entry level, just getting started into archery bow, this is, are gonna be some great options for you. Again, you can check out more information on the link in the description below at Hoyt.com, or do yourself a favor, go check out one of your local bow shops and uh, give those guys some of your business. They will get you all set up, they will get it tuned, and you will be ready to be shooting in no time flat. Do us a favor, subscribe to our channel, and uh, check out our other archery options. Guys, hunting season is gonna be here before you know it. We are gonna be full swing into bow builds, archery shooting, practicing, and scouting coming up. We're looking forward to this fall. Big thanks to Jeremiah and the crew at Wild Arrow once again. Uh, make sure you guys go check them out on Instagram, at Wild Arrow. And if you're in the Salt Lake area, come in, say hello. Maybe they can get you a bow set up. Yeah, we're more than happy to. We'll have, uh, you know, should have plenty of these in stock. So it's getting close. It's getting close. Yes, it is.